We saw the first 20 seconds of this 1944 clip at the beginning of a video which covers armored train number three. This time we'll let it run through because it shows an operation against partisans in the Italian Alps, which fits in nicely with the next article in the Die Wehrmacht Ausgabe A number one from 1944 that we'll continue with today. In this presentation, I'll show rare private footage taken by a band of Yugoslav partisans, and I'll add material from an extremely rare and valuable collection of original periodicals from 1942 that was produced for the SD, SS, and German police. Here's the cover of the periodical we're covering. This is part four in the series. This article begins explaining that it has often been noted that the young soldiers were fighting in the same regions that their fathers had fought. But these Austrian mountain troops that were fighting partisans in the Serbian mountains not only found the original bunkers, but they also found the remains of things that had been left behind. In some instances, the positions simply needed to be tidied up. These mountain troops were part of the 24th Mountain Division, which was made up primarily of Yugoslav Volksdeutsche, which were ethnic Germans, and South Tyrolians. This footage from January 12th of 1944 is of Serbian volunteers that are seen here being trained to take part in anti-partisan operations. The 24th was primarily involved in fighting partisans in the Karst Plateau on the frontiers of Yugoslavia, Austria, and in Italy, as we saw in the operation in the first clip. The unit was named after this region. Let's now take a look at the other side of the coin with some rare footage taken by a band of Yugoslav partisans. We see supplies in canisters that have been parachuted by Royal Air Force Halifax bombers to the band. That's a nice view of one of the canisters. At the end of this video, I'll show more footage from this film collection. If you are already a Patreon channel member, then you can see footage of another German anti-partisan operation that can't be shown here. The communist star worn by this partisan means that the footage comes most likely from 1943 or later. That's when the British began sending a majority of the supplies to the communist band, led by Tito. Back to the Die Wehrmacht periodical, we see one of the original World War I positions. Behind the first lines of defense are stone-walled living quarters, stalls, and cisterns for storing water that have all remained in good condition. It's almost been 30 years since the last Austrian soldier manned this observation post on Hill 1405. Here we see a mountain trooper gazing into the fog watching for any kind of suspicious movement. This clip is from a Gebirgsjäger or Mountain Troops training film.
Shaking the rein signals the mule to continue forwards. Also when going downhill, the lead rope should be used to guide. The company approaches a dangerous area. A lookout is assigned to watch. The company passes by the danger as quickly as possible. When the word rocks is called out, everyone immediately takes cover. While in London, I was able to get my hands on collections of complete years for the periodical Die Deutsche Polizei. The official periodical was authorized and edited by the Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler. The intended readership were policemen of all branches during the Third Reich. This is special edition number 19 from October 1st of 1942, which focuses on the battle against partisans. The following photos shows the steps taken during a so-called police action against partisans in the Oberkrain. This operation was in Bosnia. 1. Police tanks are moved into the staging area. 2. Enemy positions situated in the rocks behind the day's objective are softened up by heavy barrage. 3. Advancing quickly towards the enemy, the forested area is carefully combed through. 4. A well-camouflaged MG position wait for the order to open fire. 5. The order to fire is given and the MG opens up. 6. What's left of the band of partisans make a hasty retreat. Elements of the police unit remain in hot pursuit. This is more of the partisan footage. The complete reel has a runtime of 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Here we see a British advisor that has been parachuted in. If you like the way I combine primary source historical materials to create these videos, subscribe to this channel and like the video. That really helps. And if you'd like to get access to more footage that can't be shown here, please consider becoming a Patreon channel member. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Thanks for watching.